Hey guys, what's up? It's Danny V with Danny V Mobile Home TV. Here's a double wide friendship. We'll do a tour of that. If you like these home tours, uh, subs uh, consider subscribing so then you will get updates on new videos that I post. We've got a huge, nice enclosed porch area here. You've got this nice guard railing, the white guard railing around here. It's a very big porch. You've got recessed lighting. One, two, three, four lights. That's eight foot right here. Ceiling. All right, let's just do a quick walk around and then we'll go inside and show you the inside. Okay, so we got three windows on the side, two big windows here one smaller window and we got a nice decent size eavesdrop right here like on some homes like this one right here there's really virtually no eavesdrop there's one right here which is nice imagine having your house on a nice pasture or farmland or something like that It'd be so cool i want to thank the uh um, Village Homes for letting me do these videos today on their homes, appreciate it. Here's a huge window right here. There's two big windows right here. I think this is gonna be a really nice place. We've got uh, another big window here. Um, I don't even think I can get in this one. Maybe I can get in through the front door. Cause that's the only other way I can think of getting in. See. Oh yeah, look at that. Nice. Very bright. Very bright room. And with this color of wood flooring, um, it makes it look nice and modern, ultra modern. Who could complain about one, two big windows? You got a huge window here with your patio door. You can probably put your TV right there. You've got your uh, rooms right here. You've got a built-in desk workshop area. And I really like the tile on this one. It's groutless tile. So it's easier to clean and such. And um, yeah, so here, let's look inside the cabinets. That's nice. All the same color, you know, as the wood. Matches nicely. Here's a drawer. And the only thing that I'd like to see in these houses, or extra that I like to see in these houses is like a USB. They've got plenty of uh, outlets. I'd like to see like USB outlets. That would be like, that would be a, a major plus. These homes are all very nice, but I would, that would be like a, an option I would put in. You wouldn't think they'd cost that much money extra to put those in. Oh, let's see here. So we got recessed lighting, got one, two, three, four. Then you got three down here, five, six, seven in this one area. Um, here's your island with an outlet. So this is kind of a cool, cool area. You can kind of maybe like prep food right here, steaks or hamburgers or whatever to cook. It could be like a little mixing area. Huge countertop, huge countertop right here. And you've got plenty of cabinets and drawers through this whole area. I mean, there's a lot right here and there's um, even more right there. So let's look and see what this one looks like. Yeah, all of these are uh, gonna have matching matching wood inside. Um, you got a huge. This is a huge window. I don't know if it shows that in the video, but it's a nice, huge, huge um, window with a farmhouse style sink. That's that's very nice. I like that. I would like to look out the window and look at nature and stuff when I'm doing my dishes. 
So then we've got, we'll bring it to your appliances. We've got a Whirlpool dishwasher. Open this one. So you've got all Whirlpool appliances to give you, you know, not a worry about them breaking down anytime soon. They'll probably last for decades. You've got a nice stove oven, or you've got a nice gas oven right here. Um, and then right over to the side of it, we've got a nice Whirlpool refrigerator and kind of like a built-in uh, Whirlpool microwave with a touch button right there. And then here's, oh, look at that. There's a, oh, I suppose that's for the refrigerator. I'll look for the refrigerator. And these are, these look to be huge drawers. Yeah, they're huge. They're, they run the same length as, as the top. Countertop, that's very nice. And then like I said before, um, if you watch any of the other Friendship um, Homes that I've done, these valances are, you know, like a premium upgrade. So all the upgrades in this house are in one price. So the price, I will tell you at the end. Don't want to spoil it. Maybe you can kind of guesstimate how much it would cost as we go through here and see just about how much it is if you were close. <clears throat> kind of like the price is right. So we got, you know, we got um, perimeter floor, floor heating. So all of your fan or all of your ducts are going to be on the side of the wall. They're not going to be like in the middle of the kitchen or something like that. We've got a closet right here. Nice size closet. Well, it's, it's a little closet, but it's just enough, you know, room for all your necessities like your coats and your hats and stuff like that. And then we've got the living room right here. And we've got, you know, an upgrade for how fast you want your fan to run. And that turns obviously turns on your fan and stuff. We've got two big windows here. And then you got your valances up there as well. Usually, you know, uh, these homes have like white cloth on the top there, if anything. Not a fan of those. These look way more classier. And then the blinds are pulled down. So there's no string, which is which is pretty cool. All of these friendship homes have this feature. Okay. So then we got another vent right here. And then you could just use this area as uh, you know, basically maybe a family room um, without a TV, a sitting room if if you will. Otherwise you could put a TV right on top of there. And then Scott. Your outlets down here, and yeah, it's awesome. It's got cable outlet and back there and a, a power outlet as well. Very good. There is the master bedroom. Let's go over to the regular bedrooms first, and then we'll look at the master bedroom. Look at uh, this is a very feels very big and roomy, and look at like how thick these sidewalls are that gives it more of a premium feeling in my opinion there's a nice uh module or there's a nice recessed light right there uh we got two bedrooms side by side this is going to be like the uh another home i toured just a little bit off you know from the from the layout but it's going to be similar so we've got uh, your floor vent right there. This is a huge window, guys. Here, let me put my hat. Okay, there's my hat. So, like, there is the window. I mean, this, for uh, a regular size bedroom, that's a big window. Let's in a lot of natural light. And then we got your closet here. We've got two racks right there okay and then we'll look at the regular bathroom here it's got perimeter heating on the floor i again i like the 
color of the tiles makes it up here wider and bigger in this bathroom. It's kind of like a pine color wood. And there's what it looks like inside. These homes are not connected to any electricity, otherwise I'd turn these lights on for you guys. Fortunately, they're not, but that's not a big deal to me. You got your outlet, right? You got one outlet right there. Um, you've got a whole bunch of switches right here for your light and you know, an exhaust fan it looks like and such. And then here's your, your standard shower. Fiberglass, I believe, fiberglass shower. So that's what it looks like in here. There's a recessed light right above the sink. And this room is going to be probably a carbon copy of the other one, only reversed. And we got a light right here. You got a, a lot of outlets, one outlet on this wall, two outlets on this wall, and then one outlet on this wall. The window wasn't as big on this one. The window on the other one was on this wall, so there's no window on this wall, so it's not as different. And you've got a small window right here looking out at the porch. And then an upgraded balance right here which is nice. I've never really seen upgraded balances in these homes before. Makes it special. And this one's got a nice size closet too. And those two smaller, these two smaller bedrooms are like average size bedrooms to me. They're not small, they're not big. They're in the middle. Have uh, a nice, nice closet space. Okay, let's go to the master bedroom. And I, uh, I really like these tiles. This tile pops off and this cover pops off to me as we're going through to see the... Well, actually, let's look at this mud room real fast and then we'll go to the master bedroom. We've got a revolve, I, I think that's how you say it. Furnace. Those must be exclusive to friendship. We got a huge area. It looks, doesn't look very, I mean, it looks pretty big where I'm standing for a washer and dryer, washer and dryer hookups, and your vents on the floor there for the dryer. And then you've got, you know, cabinets on either side to put, you know, like your laundry detergent and stuff, towels maybe. And then you can hang your clothes up there. I'm assuming that's what it's for. You could hang your clothes up there and have it air dry. This is, I'm assuming, the utility um, panel. Yep. And you got a, a door back here with a window. When I was younger, I didn't like windows with the door, but I don't really see if someone's gonna, you know, I, I thought it'd be like a security type thing. Someone could easily like put their, you know, break the window and open the door. I don't think the, the door is gonna make the decision on what house the robber enters, you know what I mean? <laughs> so um, I would, that, that door wouldn't bother me at all. Uh, we got, I don't know, we got an area right here. I don't know exactly, maybe you could put your shoes and stuff right here. Just a big open area right there. And then we got, um, you know, uh, wash big something in sink right here with an outlet here and then more uh, cabinets. I always want to call them drawers. Somebody, somebody is like, no, those are, those are cabinets. Sorry. Okay, here's the, here's like in storage area inside the, the mud room or the utility room, which. Is is pretty big. I've never seen like a, a closet type deal inside of a mudroom before. Um, that's pretty cool. Okay, let's turn around and go into the master bedroom. All right, I like this a lot because it's nice and white, which makes it look bigger. And it's got a huge window. Look at that. This video does like a shame to how big this window is. Let me put my American hat down again. I'll put it right there, you guys can see how big it is. So that is a pretty big window. You could fit a lot of hats there. Big windows are a huge you know, plus in my opinion because Let's in a lot of light. 
then you don't have to like have your lights on in your house uh, when it's sunny out or not. Um, there's a recess light right there. And let's, well check this out, looks like a, a closet. We'll check that on the way out. Here is your master bedroom, um, bath, room. You don't have any electricity in here, but this is the light that lets in. So you got a lot of light coming in. And you know, your toilet, you got your, your sink, your window, hey guys, what's up? And then, a little cubby area right here with uh, cabinets. You can store towels and stuff like that in there. And then you've got a vent right there up against the wall. That's nice. A vent for your bathroom. So everywhere in the house, it's going to be a constant temperature basically because it's primary heating. So you're not really going to feel any areas that are going to be colder than the than the other. And all these homes, all these friendship homes have like double the insulation. Not, I mean, you've got more insulation because you're up north right now when it gets to be like, you know, below zero at night. But uh, these have like more X, more than is required by law. So it's like doubly insulated. So rest assured, you won't have huge bill electricity or gas bills. This is a huge walk-in closet. I could only guess what this is right here. I wonder what that is. Let's see. Hmm. I don't know what that could be. All right. Anyways, you got a light up here. And then I'll go to the back here. These double wides have pretty big closets in the master bed rooms. So, I mean, this is pretty big. I like it. What I would do is probably just, you know, put hangers right here with my shirts and stuff, and then put like towels up here and stuff like that. You could like dual purpose it. So anyways, that brings me to the end of this video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you are not subscribed, consider subscribing. Uh, so then you'll get updates on all the new videos that I post. I sincerely appreciate every one of my viewers and subscribers. So you guys, I wouldn't be doing these new home tours. So I just want to say God bless everybody that's watching this video. Have a great day. Take care. See you on the next video.